Hello everyone, welcome to Digital Charcuterie. This is James, thank you so much for joining me today. Please give us a like and a subscribe if you're new to the channel. And don't forget to hit that bell to stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Got a lot of really cool stuff we're working on over here. Can't wait to talk about it. Right now I'm gonna talk a little bit about the Snyderverse. Is it restored? Will it be restored? And can it be restored? The answer I guess is yes to all those because anything is possible, so goodbye. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, here's the deal. The Warner Discovery merger is here and it is here to stay. Yesterday, Warner Brothers Discovery tweeted out, We are excited to announce that Warner Media and Discovery Inc. are now Warner Bros. Discovery. That was over on Twitter. And one thing that you cannot ignore was this quote tweet from David Ayer. Pray. What does that mean? Could he be hinting at the fact that this gives him one step closer to his cut, the Ayer cut, of the Suicide Squad and one step closer to the air cut of the Su Suicide Squad, which is something we need to get. Let's be honest here. You have HBO Max, you have streaming, you're number two streaming in North America. It makes financial sense. It's there, it's ready for you. Just hire an editor, get David Aaron, put together. Anyway, I'm not gonna get into that. Air cut, look, he's optimistic. He's praying that maybe we see the release. Is that what he's hitting at? Maybe he's talking about something else, who knows? This is where I, I like to think it's coming in is the air cut is one step closer. And if the air cut is one step closer, then perhaps the Snyder return is also a step closer because I keep seeing reports are circulating, nothing concrete though, but reports are circulating that Zack Snyder could be returning for a Snyderverse for an HBO Max series revolving around his nightmare storyline in the end of Justice League and of course in Batman v Superman. All this being said, you have to take this with a giant grain of salt as there is no concrete evidence to support this. This could just be fan speculation and fan hopes, but it seems to be all over. I keep seeing tweets about it. I keep reading articles that this is a potential, that there is a desire to go back and relive this and whether or not they call it Nightmare or they call it Zack Snyder's Justice League 2 and 3, we're not sure, but at this point in time, it's looking like the Zack Snyder Justice League which we were told was not going to be the canonical events of those characters is now looking to be canon. It looks like this is the storyline they're going with. So the events of the of the Justice League will no longer, thank goodness, be canon. And now we move in. And of course, you have the delay with the Flash. And Ezra Miller has all of their problems and whatnot, which I don't think they are related. I don't think the delay was related. I think the delay is more related with effect and getting their stuff together with possibly this crisis event. And this crisis event could start with Ben Affleck's Batman calling out to Barry at the end of the Flash to come and find us. Of course, that is in the nightmare verse. And there we go. And this is how we get Justice League 2 and 3. So all of it is speculation at this point, but there is some traction to it, which tells me that there is a little bit of truth here. There is an underlying fact based around this. Now, I don't fault Warner Brothers for wanting to go to the Crisis of Infinite Earth storyline. That is fantastic. And why wouldn't you want to do that? That would be your big event, which I said earlier in another video that you could overtake Marvel for the tentpole film, for the must-see film of the year, kind of like how Marvel did with Endgame and Infinity War. You do that now with these characters and people will be all on board, especially if you bring in all the ver variations of these characters that everybody knows and loves. So this is where we are right now. Nothing concrete. David Ayer praying. Ayer cut is a firm plausibility at this point. Zack Snyder's Justice League 2 and 3 or the Nightmare Verse, whatever you want to call it. That also looks to be on the horizon. Again, though, he's very busy. Rebel Moon, Planet of the Dead, Twilight of the Gods, a lot going on over at Netflix. Maybe if this is a series, he oversees it and somebody else comes in to direct while he produces and co-writes. We'll have to wait and see. All of this, of course, is a wait and see, but it's looking good. It's looking very exciting and I can't wait to cover this further. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Please give us a like and a subscribe. And until next time, may you be the master of your own universe.